Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I thought I'd do something a little bit different and talk to you about the power of photography and how during some dark times that I've had in my life, photography has really helped me through. We all share that common passion for photography and it doesn't matter whether it's street, landscape, portrait or documentary photography. It's our passion, it's what we love. And it has a power, it has an effect, not only on us, but also uh, onto the viewer who looks at our images. And that effect is the feelings and the mood that we wanted to convey, either from the scene or even from ourselves. And, and I think that's very important. And that is what is really special about photography. But you know, it has another power and it's like a superpower, if, if you will. And for me, that really struck home in 2009 when I was diagnosed with PTSD and depression. And photography really come into its own then. And I would say, in many ways, it, it saved my life. I did receive treatment at the time, but, but it's photography that's stayed with me uh, all these years and has helped me along the way. I recognize this, I recognize that it helped me. So I, I thought, well, surely it can help others. And I'm a veteran, I was in the army for 24 years. So I decided to help other veterans who were in the same situation. So I designed a project, it was called Project Mindscape, and we trialed it last year. And the idea uh, is that it's a landscape photography workshop. It was in the Lake District, but there was an element of photographic therapy in there as well and it was a, a resounding success I mean it, it exceeded all my expectations and because of that trial that we did last year I'm going to set that up as a charity hopefully towards the end of this year and um, yeah it was incredible just to see those veterans grow in confidence see the smiles on the faces and you know the fact that they feel that they've achieved something by the end of the week when they went home that was incredible and i drew a lot from that myself before i could do that i had to be honest with myself and i had to be honest with my friends and family now nobody really knew what i went through i'd closed those barriers down and i didn't talk about it only to those who were treating me. So none of my friends or family really knew what, what I was going through. So I had to tell them before I could launch on this project, I, I had to tell them. And for me, the best way to do that was to make a, a short video. And that's what I did. And that's the video I'm now gonna show you. So I hope you um, see value in this. I hope you see the power of photography as I do and how important it is in our healing and our mental well-being. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and thank you for your support. It's much appreciated. I was angry, lost and confused. Why did I feel this way? I couldn't understand what was wrong with me. I would have mood swings, everything from being happy and laughing to being really down and depressed. I became a great actor, masking the pain I put on a smile and nobody had any idea what I was going through and I didn't want them to know. In 2009 I was diagnosed with PTSD. 24 years in the army and many operational tours had finally taken their toll. The depression had got so bad that I was going to end it all and made that decision. I stood in my kitchen and I was about to hang myself. Staring at the beams on the ceiling, thoughts of my family flooded into my head and that stopped me in my tracks. For me, that was a major turning point. I then made a promise to them and to myself that I would fight, I would get better. I then did one of the hardest things I'd ever done. I asked for help. The treatment I received was, was great, but it only takes you so far. And at some stage, you have to take responsibility, pull your socks up and get on with it. 
I found that being outdoors was the biggest distraction I could find. So I'd go for long walks, just me and my camera. I'd set it up and just sit there taking in the surroundings. Photography has taken me all over the world, from living with reindeer herders in the Arctic to migrating with eagle hunters in Mongolia. It has taught me so much, not just about myself, but about other cultures, the natural world and the environment. Through photography, I have learned to connect with people and society again. So now I don't have to mask anything. I can just be me. Photography helped me heal. <laughs>